Yolan True and welcome to another exciting day in our galaxy. And today I have to talk about another aspect of the new things that have to do with this little nebula you see there on the screen. And you know that's the region where the Gorn are. When you hunt the Gorn you collect loot of course. And in the Gone video, I quickly talked about the refinery, and but I said I would do a video especially on the refinery in detail, and that's what I'm going to do today. But before I go to the refinery, I just want to say, if you're not a subscriber of my channel yet, but do like my videos, then please do subscribe to my channel. And when you do, please also click this little bell and all notifications so you will be notified when another video comes out. But now let's have a look at the newest refinery. It's right above the Enterprise NX01. It's the isometer refinery. And here you exchange the volatile isometer you um, collect from hunting the Gorn hunters. And you have th three different ones. You have one where you can exchange the volatile isometer for officer shards. And here we have officers from Enterprise E and from Voyager. We have Enterprise E Data, Enterprise E Troy, Belana Torres, Harry Kim, Neelix, Tom Paris, Tuvok, Enterprise E Picard, Enterprise E Riker, Catherine Janeway, Seven of Nine, The Doctor, and Chakotay. And for each, you can you have a chance to get between one and five shards for one chest, and you can exchange two chests here. Um, with the volatile isometer to get some of the officer shards. And of course, this is a very nice addition because until now we didn't really have a proper way of getting Enterprise E officers. The part from the holodeck in the recruit section is so limited to a one-time pull on a certain holodeck level that, that I don't, don't count that. But here you have a regular chance to get Enterprise E officers. Would be nice if that, from my point of view, if that only would be Enterprise E officers because I would like to upgrade them as much as I use them. But they are paired with the Voyager officers that were already in, um, in a faction store. So I don't really understand why they did this combination. But nevertheless, I um, do like that we have a source now for the Enterprise E officers. On my German channel, I recently made videos on the Enterprise E officers and uh, in my A to Z um, series. And there, I still had to say there is no regular um, way to do that. Now we have it. But this is not the only thing where you can exchange. Um, but I wanted to say one chest costs 700 isometer and two chests cost 2100 isometer. And as you can see above, I don't want to miss that, um, it says Ops 53 to 55. So the content will also be dependent on your Ops level. So um, you, if it's different to what you see in this video, it's just because of your Ops level. Uh, it will especially be different in, in, in the last one we, we will talk about today, but um, it uh, will matter. And I think uh, the whole refinery is Ops 40 or Refinery 40 that this whole thing starts as far as I got it so far. But the second one is an exchange for volatile isometer for artifact pieces. And uh, this is quite nice because there is a mixture of the, the old artifacts, um, as I call them, with the Horgans, Box Engagement Pendant, McCoy's Hyper Spray, the Earth Science Institute scanner, Quark scanner, the Andorian scanner, and I don't want to <laughs> uh, tell them all, I think, but I can do. And Shepel's hyperspray, Crush's hyperspray, the Katinga scale replica, which I really love as much as uh, Scotty's Trident scanner. Then there's the Battle of House Martok, Kirk's phaser rifle, and Guinan's uh, Magus three weapon. And then... Um, we have the Torian Spear, Cisco's Baseball. Yeah, I really should stop saying them all. Um, but there are some I, I'm still working on to get them uh, unlocked already. So I will definitely be happy about getting some stuff from here. And also, um, 
they are the new temporal artifacts, starting with the Orb of the Emissary, going um, through some of the of the rare ones with the Chroniton sample, Nearest Trident and the Stone of Memory. And there are two epic ones as well, the Guardian of Forever and the Boroth Time Crystal. So it's not all of them, but there's a number of them. And uh, you have a chance to get between one and as you can see on the on the top, three pieces of those artifacts, but it's all chances. And here, once again, you can either exchange one chest for 700 or two chests for 2100. And uh, didn't look at the chances before for you. But the nice thing here is that you have a chance of 15% for an uncommon one, 15% for an epic one, but 70% for a rare one. Usually in m many other exchanges, the uncommon ones have the high percentage. And here it's the rare ones. And that's why we quickly go back to the officers, because you have here a 70% chance for rare and 30% for epic. I forgot that when we were there. And now let's have a look at the third one. And here you can get a few different things. The main topic is to um, exchange isometa for upgrade resources. In my case, because of the ops level, it's G5 resources, or better to speak materials. The resources are, are not in here. That's what I'm missing. But I have uh, Federation credits, Romulan credits, Klingon credits, and independent credits. Um, the independent credits are interesting because uh, they are usually hard to get. Then I have common uh, crystal ore and gas, then I have uncommon uh, crystal gore and uh, go gore, gore, <laughs> yeah, we have some gore now. No, the goins and ore, I shouldn't mix them. Uh, so uncommon crystal gas and ore here in here, um, it's because of my level. And it, uh, that's why it's also five star material. But we also have officer XP, um, ship XP, speed ups, repair speed ups, and uh, uh, 12 hour speed ups, and five hour speed ups, and one hour repair speed ups. Um, that's not that interesting for me, but um, the materials are. But the amount is not uh, breathtaking with uh, 355 of the common ones. Uh, when you usually for one upgrade need tens of thousands, but in time it it, it will give you some. And the 108 uh, uh, uncommon ones, if you get them, they are a nice addition. It's not the big help, but it's helping a little bit. And here once again, you can exchange one chest for 700 isometer or two chests for 2100 isometer. You see that I have enough isometer to do all three exchanges with um, two chests. Unfortunately, I cannot do that <laughs> right now. I could have done it yesterday evening, but I knew that I wanted to film uh, the refinery videos today. That's why I didn't. So I will do um, that later. But I cannot do that now to show you what I get because I still have to film the German version of this video and uh, I cannot look into the exchanges anymore if I do the exchanges. So I will not do that now. Uh, you don't get loads. The last time um, I used it, it was the first time I got about uh, three officer shards. I got a few credit, uh, Klingon credits, a little bit of, of material and uh, a few artifact pieces. So don't expect to, to get some, some really gigantic pulls in the beginning. I will see how that will develop, but it, it wasn't overwhelming when I did it for the first time. But nevertheless, it's a nice addition. I don't have a big problem in getting enough to do the full exchange. It's a, a little more than one tour to the Gorn uh, to get enough to, um, to do all three exchanges with two chests. So um, once again, it will depend on your level and your power how long you will need for that. But uh, on my level with my ship power, it's it's, it's not the biggest grind in this game. They're, they are much bigger. I need longer to, to get my um, nanoprobes or whatever that I need than, than uh, fighting the Gorn. So the Gorn are not as bad as I expected, but it's another grind added. But nevertheless, it's additional stuff from a refinery um, and it's stuff you do need usually, so it doesn't harm anyone. And that's why I think it's uh, 
It's a helpful addition. Not a big help, but a helpful addition. Of course, I would like to know your opinion about it. Maybe you are much luckier in the polls than I am, as usual. Uh, I'm not the luckiest guy in these polls in this game. But if you also have questions in general or video requests, you know that I regularly read the comments. And if you want to see another video right now, the next one is right here in the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.